In this video, we'll be creating a link in a Django-powered web page to delete records in a database. In these videos for the Django series, I'll start by showing you the completed code first, then I'll write the code from scratch. In this tutorial, I've already created a website that allows for the viewing, adding, and updating of a table of veterinarians. Now I want to add a feature to delete records by clicking on a link next to the veterinarian's name. If you haven't set up the website to be ready for this next task, see the link in the description so that you can do the preparation work first. All right, first let's look at the completed code for what we're about to do. So over here in urls.py, we see that this website has one, two, three, four, five paths through the web page or through the website. So you can enter in nothing after the domain name. You can do forward slash list vets for list veterinarians, forward slash add vet to see the add veterinarian form. Then there's an edit vet uh, link that goes to a page where you can see a form to edit one of the records. And we're doing something very similar to that in this video where we're going to uh, add another link for deleting a veterinarian by going to a view, that, uh, view page that is going to execute some functionality related to the ID of the vet that we pass in. Over here, here is the HTML page that we will be updating to create this functionality. So this is the list veterinarians page. It loops through each veterinarian that's in the database and the, the uh, list of records gets sent to it and we loop through it and print them out. And we're gonna create links there. And the links for delete relate to this path right there. And then in views.py, here's the very short code for deleting a record. In the um, so the delete view method, uh, it's called delete veterinarian page view. It receives uh, in the path an ID, and we read that ID and pass it into this special model command that goes back to the database and deletes the veterinarian that matches that ID. And then, rather than displaying some special um, delete page, we just redirect back to the list vets page. Um, so just where the list of the veterinarians are, and you'll be able to see uh, that everything gets um, updated when we click on delete. So this is what it's going to look like when we're all done, um, but it's not running right now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to need to start up my little Docker container. That's how I am running Python. And I'm going to change into the folder that I want to be in. And whenever I do this, I need to install Django in my brand new version uh, container. All right, so now I'm ready to go. All right, so first thing is I'm going to open this up, go into my templates folder, and find list vets. And here's where I have my previous code where I have an edit link that shows up next to each veterinarian's name. Uh, let me go ahead and essentially copy that. I'm going to copy and paste it and um, I'm going to replace the word delete with a link delete and I'm going to need to go to a path that I haven't defined yet in this in this program and it's going to be delete vet and then it's also going to send uh, the ID of the particular veterinarian uh, pass through um, through this loop here. All right, so that's it. That page is ready to go. Now the next thing I need to do is update my view. So in my app I go to views.py and I'm going to need to add a view that does not exist currently. So to save typing time, I'm just going to paste that in there. So there's the view that I'm ultimately going to connect to using a path that I haven't created yet. Um, but there's the name of it. It's expecting in the URL to receive a, a number which represents the veterinarian's ID. And then we execute the delete command in the database. And then we redirect to list vets page view, which is this one right here, which at the end of it all just displays the list vets.html page um, and before doing that it pulls up all the veterinarians in the database all right so with just that little block of code for deleting 
I have implemented the delete functionality. Uh, the last thing I need to do is go over to urls.py and I need to create a path for deleting. So something that I can use as a URL and I've technically already implemented the planned URL in this page right there, but now I actually have to create it. So I'm going to say whenever somebody types in delete vet, it's going to go here. And now up across the top, I have a whole bunch of views that I've imported. It's getting kind of big, so I'll just replace it with a everything. So import everything from views. And now I can import uh, delete veterinarian page view, and I will call it delete vet. And that's it. So this makes it so that, so this is the name of the path. And um, I can now use um, that over here in this, in this link. All right, well, it's all hooked up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and watch it work. So we'll do Python run server. Uh, sorry, I meant manage.py run server 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 port 8080. And uh, oh, apparently Python is not a... Uh, <laughs> What in the world have I done there? Python. There we go. Okay, so it started up nicely. And I'm going to go over here and I load this page. There we go. There's my records. And if I click, hover over one of these, um, before clicking, if I hover over one of these links, I can see that there are numbers in each one. And um, if I go ahead and click on it, it in the back end, it uh, hits the view that I want runs the delete command and then brings me back to this page again where it deletes whatever's left there. Okay, wonderful. Well, we finished uh, everything that we need for creating a database-driven web page. Um, so we have view records, edit records, delete records, add records, all as part of different paths in this project. If you have any questions or comments, please type them in the comment area below, and I'll see you in some future video.